Welcome to the rest of Garden. Today I'm starting a new series called Garden Mythbusters. And what I'm going to look at is garden myths, old wives tales, urban farmer legends, anything that you may have heard over the years that may be true, may be false, does it work, doesn't it work. And the first thing that I wanted to talk about was using the humidity domes on seed starting trays. I say they create an environment for mold and fungus. So the first question I asked was, do humidity domes promote mold and fungus growth? And I set the experiment up by using these peat pellet seed starting trays. Put a piece of bread right in between the center of the peat pellets. We all know that bread gets moldy. This one did not have a dome. This one had a dome. It went into my grow closet. They were treated the same way, same amount of light, same amount of darkness um, for 10 days. It went in on the 14th. Today is the 24th. The tomato seeds here for another video, or the sprouts. So quickly, here is the bread that's been sitting in there 10 days. And if you look closely, you don't see any mold or any fungus. And it looks pretty much like a piece of bread wedged between peat pellets. In fact, it's stale. Now there is truth that I watered this one more. In fact, you can see that the watering was just put in there. This one is a little bit dry, but I didn't have to water this one as much. So you save, you know, a watering. Now, when you take the humidity dome off and you take a look, you can see it's what looks like cotton. That is fungus and it's spreading across the, the peat pellets and you can see it's pretty thick. Green mold right in there and a closer look. You can see the fungus coming all the way around the back. Um, it's spread over to here. There's green mold over there. There's green mold back there. So this one did seem to have fungus and mold. Now, when you talk about humidity, think about this. When you put your seeds in the ground, what do they need? They need moisture, they need water, they need sun, they need wind. What's the worst time of year in your garden? When the temperature gets up into the 90s, humidity comes, your plants tend to get more diseases. I'll leave it up to you to decide whether or not humidity domes create the environment for mold and fungus. I think we know the answer. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to do this series over 2014, so if there's any garden myth you want me to try out, please leave it in the comment section. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my blog at www.therustedgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.